How's it going guys? Your old pal Baba Ganoush here. So today I want to talk to you about trekking poles. I want to talk to you about the benefits of carrying trekking poles, some of the different uses you can get out of them, as well as why I carry trekking poles myself. So let's go ahead and get on into it. So there are a lot of different reasons that people carry trekking poles. So let's go ahead and talk, sub, talk about some of the benefits that you get for carrying trekking poles versus not carrying trekking poles. So first and foremost, number one, they're going to save a lot of strain off of your legs, off of your knees, and off of your lower back. Instead of solely carrying the pack weight on your legs without the use of trekking poles, what this is going to do is kind of distribute some of that hiking force not only amongst your legs, around your core, but getting some of your upper body into it as well. This goes a long way to increasing your endurance, especially for those of you like myself who like to do a lot of miles, um, you know, just not having all the weight solely resting on your legs all throughout the day, um, you know, really goes a long way in kind of protecting yourself, increasing your, or keeping your energy levels going at a higher level throughout the day, and again, increasing your endurance levels. Secondly as well, some, one of the benefits is being able to have those three or four points of contact means you're always going to be really nice and secure with your balance, especially uh, when you're going across logs or stream crossings, you know, you're rock hopping, that kind of thing. Uh, number one, from a physical standpoint, having the three or four points of contact and having that balance goes a long way to keeping up your momentum and keeping up, keeping up, your, uh, keeping up your pace kind of thing. Um, and as well, just the mental confidence that it gives you, you know, going over tricky stream crossings where you might be a little apprehensive otherwise, um, you know, just being able to have these stuck into the ground, give yourself nice balance from front to back to left to right, uh, definitely goes a long, long way. And, you know, a couple of other benefits as well, um, you know, with trekking poles, you do actually, you are actually able to keep up a better rate of pace. You can kind of control your pace better. It just allows you to kind of get into a rhythm of constantly moving. Uh, I know some people as well, without carrying trekking poles, they, their hands and their arms have a tendency to swell or go numb kind of thing. And so this also is a great way to alleviate uh, that swelling in your hands and that numbness that you might experience. And of course, this also is great to help keep your posture up. You know, you're carrying a pretty decent amount of weight on your back. Your body's natural reaction and your natural reaction is to lean forward. You're putting a lot of strain on your lower back when you're doing that and actually working your legs out even more when you're doing that. You're also restricting your breathing so your lungs aren't able to expand. You're just decreasing your overall endurance. So with trekking poles, being able to keep your chest up and your posture up increases that lung capacity, increases that breathing capacity, therefore increases your level of endurance. And also it takes a lot of that strain off of your lower back, off of your legs, and distributes a lot of that exercise and a lot of that work more around your core. So I know that's quite a lot. That's a pretty big mouth pull. Um, but there are some pretty substantial uh, benefits that you have for carrying trekking poles. So some of the different uses that you can get out of trekking poles as well uh, certainly do come in handy, whether it be emergency situations or just for regular use. Um, you do have some pretty nice benefits to go along with them. So number one, these are pretty nice noisemakers. Number one, that can come in handy if you need to alert people um, or as well try to spook off some kind of animal. Um, or just you know make yourself a nuisance to an animal that's being a little bit uh, a little bit too friendly around your campsite kind of thing. That's one nice little benefit. Secondly, as well, if all of a sudden you're caught in a severe rainstorm, you need to get out of the rain. These you utilizing these with some kind of tarp or your footprint for your tent can serve as a quick use uh, emergency shelter, basically. Um, for those of you who carry uh, the fitted footprints to your tents, you have loops in the corners of those. Simply you can stake them in the ground, throw the footprint over the uh, top of the trekking poles, and then of course stake the corners down. Make yourself a quick little A-frame shelter just to get out of the rain, out of some severe weather, if you think it's starting to get a little rough to continue hiking. And of course, lastly, certainly if you hike in the snow like I do, 
These are certainly great to kind of poke and prod in front of you to make sure that the ground is actually safe to walk on. You know, especially this time of year with the leaves falling, um, it's really hard to see the grounds and soon we're going to have snow, which is going to make it even more difficult. Uh, so just being able to test the area out in front of you, especially if you know that there's, you know, some kind of stream, uh, some kind of water source upon the lake, you know, test that ground out in front of you, make sure it's stable. That'll certainly come in handy. So a few of the reasons why I personally, I love carrying trekking poles. Number one, all the physical things, as I said first in the video, you know, being able to keep my posture up, uh, being able to keep a certain rhythm and a certain rate of pace up, as well as taking a lot of the strain and, and the workload off of just my legs solely. That's a big part of why I like to carry trekking poles. You know, you know me, I like to do a lot of miles. If I can try to, if I can do certain things to increase my level of endurance so it makes those long miles a little bit easier, absolutely I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Secondly as well, um, you know, because I like to do a lot of miles, being able to keep up a rate of pace, it allows me to kind of just continue hiking and then use the trekking poles to really steer me left and right around certain obstacles. Um, you know, again, everything that I touched on before is a major reason why I like to carry trekking poles. And of course, last but not least, probably the most important thing, um, it allows me to set up my tent. Uh, I know, I know everybody's standard use of tent is coming with tent poles where there's some kind of skeleton structure and some kind of framework to it. Um, however, in an effort to just go more simplified and lighter weight for myself, I opted for a trekking pole tent. Now certainly, the company that I chose, they do offer the actual tent poles to set it up, but again, I'm trying to save weight. So if I can get an item that I can use for multiple, multiple purposes, that's a great way to just save overall weight in my pack system. And with how purposeful they are, I absolutely love them. These are just super easy to adjust. It's just a matter of just flipping open the lock, extending it, clamping it down, and you're done. Um, so I really, really love that part of it. You know, um, I always keep a little bit, I always keep duct tape. Uh, wrapped around underneath the handle. I don't know anywhere between 10 and 20 feet underneath uh, both sides there You know that way my duct tape is easily accessible. It's right out in the open um, Ready to go there really nice and convenient for me So yeah, just touching on a few little things as to you know some of the benefits that you get with trekking poles uh, Some of the reasons why I carry trekking poles and a few of the different hacks and everything as well that you can utilize with them so for those of you who are on the fence worried about whether or not you really need them, hopefully this information can aid in your decision. Um, and just from my own standpoint, I absolutely love them. You know, I, I swear by them, I love them. Um, I will take these on any backpacking trip and every backpacking trip that I go on. So thank you guys so, so much. I hope this helped out a little bit um, in making your own decision whether or not to get trekking poles. I have a great backpacking trip coming up right after Thanksgiving. I'll be up north in New York State. Uh, me and Fernando will be doing that trip. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I have some new videos and some new gear reviews coming your way as well. I have some cool new stuff to show you guys. I'm really excited, really looking forward to it. Ah, man, it's going to be an exciting last couple months of the year. It's going to be an exciting 2018. Don't forget to subscribe down below to keep up to date with all my videos. Hit the like button, hit the comments, uh, leave me a question, a comment down below. Don't forget to check my, out my uh, Instagram page. The link is in my description. I'll talk to you guys further on down the trail. Pleasure as always. Baba Ganoush out.